Hi guys, it's Tara Reed. You're watching Joe and Marie all day, all night. YouTube family. Hi. Today is Saturday, May 20th, all day. All night. And this video we have stuff from Savers, uh, stuff from Whatnot, and I think that's about it. If there's something else, we'll show you. But we're just going to dive right in and show you everything that we have for this video. First thing we're going to do is get the saver stuff out of the way. Hot off the press today. Yeah, hot off the press. We just got these things. Didn't even Fresh get the, out the bag. Didn't even get the stickers off of them yet, but I wanted to show them. First thing I'm going to do is four CDs that I got. Music. Music. But the first one I got is InSync's first album. I had to pick up. I like InSync. Tearing Up My Heart. I had this one. Is a banger. So mm -hmm. I had to pick that one up because I enjoy it. Don't judge him. Don't yep. Him. And if I'm going to grab that, I'm going to grab this. And it was InSync's No Strings Attached. Again, fan. Had to pick I it debated up. about picking that one up. Yeah, I didn't. And then, since I'm buying boy bands, might as well buy Best of Boy Bands. He this... told me he looked at this and he grabbed it like it was Black Friday. Oh, yeah. I was super, super excited. It had, you know, NSYNC, Hanson, uh, LFO, OK. 98 Degrees. Yeah. Uh, Blackstreet, Next. Uh, Boys to Men, New Kids on the Block, Color Me Bad, just a ton. And this already made its way to the CD player. Yeah, we already listened to this pretty much uh, at night right after dinner. Usually we listen to a vinyl, but for the first time we listen to a CD. But really, really happy for that well, That's a hit that factory. One. Yeah, and then I got this just because a lot of the songs on it I really like. Mm -hmm. And this has, uh, now that's what I call music, Volume Going way back. Yeah, this is one of the early, early, early So ones. these are all the hit songs that were popular at the time. Yeah. These but, probably flash the back. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Show you right there. You want to see? I'll just put it right up on doop, the screen. Doop, doop. And you can take a little screenshot, clip, clip, zoom in, all that good stuff. And there you go. Boom. Yeah. But just a bunch of good stuff that we found, CDs. And they had... um. Uh, 30% off media and books if you text a number to text a number and you know filled in so you can get automatic uh, text alerts from Savers. So I would got that. Mm -hmm. This I grabbed for Marie. I was, she actually says I have this movie, and you know so I was gonna put it back, but I forgot to put it back. But the part that worked out was she has this, but this is the special edition that has extra bonus features that the original one that we have mm -hmm. doesn't. This is Air Buds World Pup. Yes, Marie likes the talking dog movies. I have them all. She has them all. She has all the Air Buds. All, I can see them right here. There's four and the buddies. Them, all the four movies. I love them. But like I said, we already have this. It has different artwork. When you grow up with three Goldens in a black lab, you've has, always had three Goldens yeah. in the house. It has, uh, like I said, different artwork and special features that the other one doesn't have. So mm -hmm. this is going in the collection right next to it. It's just regular gray deck. Yeah, nothing special. But World Pop Special Edition. There you go. Dollar ninety nine. Yeah. Next one is a movie that is out of print. He he was excited to show me this one. And I was happy to find it because there's an actual Blu ray, but the Blu ray goes for like seventy bucks. But hopefully one day I find it. Fox and, put that out for you. Yep. And because of that, it'll probably never get re-released because it's owned by Disney. Mm. But this has Keanu Reeves in A Walk in the Clouds. This is a fantastic love story kind of movie. And I've always been a big, big fan of it. It's pretty much mm. uh, Keanu Reeves is on a bus coming out of the military. There's a, a Spanish girl, or she's a, I think she's Spanish or Italian. She's on there. She's going to visit her family that own a vineyard and, you know, she's going there and not married, no nothing. They decide to go together as a couple and all this, as I say, the craziness that ensues. 
But really, really, really good movie. If you've never seen this movie, I would say highly, highly check it out. Big, big fan of it. Like I said, that one, the artwork on it is kind of water damaged. It's kind of ugly, but hey, the, disc, play, the disc was mint. And that movie is so hard to find. I'll take it. I'll take it. All day. This, I was... I did a double take. He's like, look what I found. I'm like... This, I was what? super, super excited to find because when I was looking through... When I found Walk in the Clouds, the guy for oh, Savers yeah. with the buggy was putting movies away. And he came over to me and he, he tapped me on the shoulder and he goes, Ah, excuse me. Is this a kid's movie? And it was the movie uh, The Big Fish. I'm like, ah, uh, no, that's not a kid's movie. So when I turned around, I saw in his cart and he had stacks of movies and books and everything. And this was sitting Bless. right on top. And I said, can I look through your stuff? And he goes, oh, yeah. I grabbed this, just threw it in the cart. I didn't even look at it. And then I looked through all the other movies he has. Nothing else I wanted. But this, when I grabbed it, this thing was mint. And then after I pretty much opened it, the whole thing is mint. The discs were mint. It looked like it was played once because yeah. today when I pulled the first disc out, Spoiler, I actually put this in today and started watching it. It was good. When I pulled the first disc out, I so mean, good. it was hard to get out. That means that it barely it's ever. It's worth it. Yeah. And this is the What'd day. What you pay for it? Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Yeah. And Wait this for thing it. is very out of print. Very. And this is the day the music changed the world, July 13th, 1985. And it is Live Aid. Mm -hmm. Box set. But really, really excited for it. Again, I'll put it on the back so you can see. Take a picture. Boatload of fans. Yeah. Screenshot. Zoom in. All mm -hmm. that stuff. It just has a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of stuff. A lot, lot of good music. Yeah. We watched like half of the first disc before dinner. Enjoy and it. And as you can see right there, what I paid for it, three ninety nine. But really, all day. Really excited for it. But yeah. I mean, like if I said, we see another copy, <laughs> yeah, we'll pick it up. But, but yeah. I was, I've never had this in my collection. Nope. I know people that have sold it and gotten good money for their copies, but yeah. I've always wanted it, and now I finally have it. So, super excited. One concert, Savers, two continents. Yeah, this today was, uh, we had to go out, and I'm like, hey, since we're going near Savers, can we stop there real quick? Yeah. And I was just like, it's just right place, right time, and I... Uh, the hey, Joe, go to Savers. The, like, like, uh, like people you get say, the like people say, the thrifting gods were shining on me today. Aww. Exactly. So I was really happy. That was I haven't had a score like that in a while. This is from Whatnot. <laughs> I got this from one of the sellers. Oh. Don't judge me, people. This is pretty much one of those more hate than love kind of I movies. I like this movie. I've seen it at least two or three times. I like the movie as well. And I have it on DVD. I want to upgrade it to Blu-ray. It's an M. Night Shyamalan film with Mark Wahlberg. And it is... Wahlberg. The Happening on Blu-ray. Like cool. I said, a lot of people don't like this movie. I actually enjoy it. It's freaky. And I want to upgrade it in my collection. Mm -hmm. I literally paid $2 for it. Yep. But happy for that. Next one. It's a steelbook. I got oh. this from another seller. Another sailor or seller? Seller on whatnot. A dollar and a dollar and a And I got this for nine dollars. And I have I I had all these movies on DVD in the collection. Two months ago I finally upgraded them all to Blu ray. All separately. All separately. Thanks, Pam, I think it was. It was Pam yep. and Bull Moose. <laughs> <clears throat> because Pam didn't have the second one. I had to get that one from Bull Moose. And then what happens two months later? I find a steel book. Of all three movies in one steel book, and I bought it for nine bucks. And it is the Taken movies, and this is the three movie collection on steel book. I love the Taken films, and what's funny is, is the uh, the week that I got this steel book in the mail, I actually sat down, took all the Blu rays off the shelf. I'm like, since I spent the money to upgrade it to Blu ray, I sat down and watched all three films on a weekend. Hey, Tim. And now I have the steel book, so I'm mm -hmm. going to size it down from three spots to one. And, and I got to take a look at them. And upgrade it to a steel book. They are great, again, shut off your brain popcorn films, but I really, really enjoy them. So I had to grab that. 
Next thing I got is from Whatnot as well. <laughs> if I'm right, this came from Undead Media. Undead Media. Because I know that where he lives, so. <laughs> Not creepy. Not creepy, but as in, I know what state and what city, so yeah. I know exactly where it comes from. Oh, yeah. But this is some stuff that I got from him. Um, I got this one from him. I think I paid 4 or $5 for and I've always wanted to see this film. And we watched it and really enjoyed it. And it is Nightmare Alley. Doesn't seem a little long, but... Yeah, it was fun. a little long, but I really enjoyed it. I actually had fun with this yeah, film. Good. It actually made the shelf. This film... Real, Amazing. Really made the shelf. I like biopics. It's music. And when this one came out, I really wanted it. I'm like, yes. And this is the Blu-ray of... I want to dance with somebody. She is legend. This, I love her music. This book cover. I really wanted to watch this. The week that it came in, that Friday night, we watched yep. it. And we loved it. Yep. If you're a big fan of biopics and a fan of Whitney Houston, even if you're not a fan mm -hmm. of Whitney Houston, I would say highly, highly check this out. I mean, nope, we couldn't wait to watch it. Yep. This next one I have not watched yet. Nope. And I will watch it soon. So... I had to check it out, and this is Tom Hanks in A Man Called Otto. Oh, I want to dance with somebody I paid um, $8 for. I was going to say less than 10 dollars This one I got it for 6 bucks with the slipcover. Okay. So, I picked it up. I was really, really happy to check this one out. I heard good things, so I wanted to check it out, but I haven't watched it yet. This one, again, the week that it came in, that he weekend. He next to the TV. That weekend, I pretty much watch this. Yeah. Sometimes I have a hard time sleeping during the week. And if I wake up in the middle of the night, I can't sleep. I was going into the living room, watch mm -hmm. one episode, two episodes, and go back to bed. But it took me a <laughs> couple of weeks to watch this. Or stay up. Yeah. <laughs> and it is The Walking Dead, the complete 11th season on Blu-ray with the slipcover. I paid $13 for this. I was super excited because at Target... This thing is fifty four ninety nine. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So thirteen dollars all day. Well, One of the things I love about whatnot. Mm -hmm. But really, really excited. So now I own all eleven seasons of The Walking Dead. I've seen all eleven seasons. I've, I've seen, seen about three seasons. Yeah. But I <laughs> love, love uh The Walking Dead. And I love this. I love how they wrapped it all up. So, I love Sons of Anarchy. I yeah. finished that whole series in like a month not even yeah that's my favorite tv show and the last one this i got from vc vinyl on whatnot get ready it's a good one yeah i literally have this album <laughs> one mm -hmm. this is the third edition of this album i have i have a cd box set that i got at bull moose i got it on vinyl this uh last month or this month. Mm -hmm. And now I got this Target edition. And I got this for $8. And you've seen the YouTube live concert. Yeah. <laughs> so times. I had to pick this up. I will open it because I want to see the concert. I'll open it. But this is Blackpink, the album. They're fun. And this is the big box set. It looks it. like a book. Yeah. Cool. But it has pretty much just a slip box. But I really wanted this. This has... Inside of it, let me grab my magnifying glass. I don't know why I put it away like an idiot. Day to day. Yeah. Okay. But this is the Target exclusive and has two group photo cards, a group poster, includes the CD, a hardcover photo book that's 96 pages, four postcards, credit sheet, two random photo cards, two random postcards, a random sticker, a random poster, and a mounted photo card. And that and a needed. partridge and a pear tree. Yeah, I needed. And now you agree. Yeah. So I had to pick this one up. I will open it to find out all Which the ones you got. Yeah, they're all different. All the randomness that's in there. Mm -hmm. But once I the end of the month comes and I do my Instagram pictures, literally the right after I hit click on my phone and post it on Instagram, I'm ripping <laughs> this thing open to see what's inside of it because I am so so excited. To check it out. Yeah, but that is everything that I got for this video. Mm -hmm. Like I said, just a mixed bag of 
some DVDs. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Some Blu-rays. Now I got their music in my head, thanks. CDs. And then a really nice out-of-print box set that I was super excited to find. And some new releases. So I think. Yeah. So here we go. And Live Aid is the score of the box. I mean, score of the stack. Whoa. But that is everything. That black pink is... Making my arm shake, it's so heavy. There's a lot in there. But Most yeah. Four girls, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that um, Live Aid, that's pretty much my best find in a while. I was mm -hmm. super, you know, in uh, one of the recent videos, I found out Once Upon a Time in America that was out of print. Mm -hmm. But that, I was more excited for that Live Aid just because I'm really into music mm -hmm. than that, in, you know. It has something for everyone on I there. I know. And to me, when when it comes to the music, like DVDs mm -hmm. or Blu-rays, usually they do one pressing of that, mm -hmm. and that's it. They, once they go out of print, they go out of print. When it comes to music, DVDs, and Blu-rays, those things are stupidly priced once they go out of print mm -hmm. because they you'll never see them re-released again. It's not like a movie that... You know, especially horror movies that they'll get re-release after re-release. Another like, company will pick yeah. it up. When it comes to the music DVDs or live mm -hmm. in concert ones, once those are gone, those are gone. That's it. Mm -hmm. So it's really exciting to find that because, like I said. We've seen it before, but astronomically priced. Yeah, I've seen it before. I think for like 90 something dollars, almost 100 bucks. But it goes up three, to like 117 and Yeah, three ninety nine all day long. But. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, videos before and after. Was she slow? Very slow. Uh, if you want to subscribe to us, hit the subscription button, hit the slow. notification bell. We'll have more videos for you. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. About... Are you selling that live it? No. No. <laughs> I'm just through yeah. the roof with that one. Yeah. But until next time, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.